fire sign welcome to my channel we're doing your november 2nd um this is we don't do november 1 that's one thing okay so this is november 2nd so um i wasn't able to make the announcement um so what we're gonna do i wasn't able to get someone to work with me so bear with me um if you order the first week of october you're gonna get your reading first week of november well the wait is six to eight weeks but you know and if uh so that's what that, that's how it's gonna go okay and if you can't wait, please, there's so much readers and YouTube, amazing readers. There's a whole lineup out there, okay? Guidance is everywhere. Please, just ask for a refund, okay? And I'm I'm gonna send, I'm gonna create a uh, new email. I wasn't able to because there's nobody working for me yet. So, um, and please stop sending emails if you are not a client, okay? <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> Foreign clients, if you are not from the U.S., it's very difficult for me to schedule you. You would have to be patient. And if you're not patient, please ask for a refund. Okay, so let's see what's going on for October. Oh, let's see, I'm so lost. November 2nd, and I believe November 2nd is, you know what, November 2nd. <laughs> I'm doing this early in the morning, guys. This is you, Fire Sign, Iris, Leo, Sag. You have here the star card, being hopeful. This is a dream destination also. Well, that's what I wanted. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> no, it's destiny, right? You follow it, you go with it. You go with it, you get the signs and symbols. And then you get what you wish for. That's the star card. Amazing read, amazing energy, okay? It can be an Aquarian that you're connecting with. This is knowing when you're doing something and you're in the right path. So, um, this November 2nd, I really need to know what's November 2nd. Well, today is Wednesday, okay? Then this is going to be for Thursday. Okay. So it's Thursday. Um, and you're having this inkling feeling where you just follow. Okay. And you don't know where it's going to go, but you just follow. Okay. You have here the King of Swords. A lot of air energy over here. This is you being smart. You being able to know what's the next move. Or this person can know what's your next move also. Okay. Um, you, you see the future and you make a plan. Basically, okay? Um, the time of execution, the King of Swords would know when, okay? This, um, for me, Kings are all action cards because masculine energy, they take control. So this person is taking control of, of your destiny. So you, Fire Sign, are in control of your destiny or in control of the situation that you're in, whoever you're connecting with. You have your Nine of Wands. The effort that you're putting in, okay, it's in its final stretch. So if it's a marathon, just keep going. The star is there. You're almost at the finish line. The person that you're connecting with, fruition comes next. Wish will be granted soon if you don't give up. Okay? But sometimes we can give up, you know. If you're tired, nine of, nine of wands is getting tired, okay? So if you want to give up, you can, okay? Feel free to let go. <laughs> let me see the other person's energy over here. Other person is three of cups. Celebration. You, if you are the person who's chasing this person, they love it. They enjoy being chased. They enjoy being the star. Okay? So I don't know what sign, what zodiac wants to be the star. The star. <laughs> okay? You guys know. Okay? So the Three of Cups over here, celebration, happiness, abundance. This person getting a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. Even you probably offering gifts because this is harvest time. So you're offering someone so much that they are very happy. Depending on the second card, it might be a third party. It's not a third party. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. So, Earth energy over here, meaning you are really giving um, something to this person. But they're going to give back though. You have swords and you have both card cards here, which is good. So, their vibration is the king of, uh, as a Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who gives earthy energy, would spend time with you, and at the same time would take something back at you. Okay, I always feel it like that with the, with the Queen of Pentacles. Someone who enjoys giving, but they you need to give back, okay? It's a tax collector over here. You see underneath the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus or Virgo, okay? So that's one thing that you could be connecting. You have your Seven of Pentacles. This person is waiting for more stuff to offer. This person is waiting for more things to manifest in the connection that you guys have. So this particular day, November 2nd, it's like they're waiting for more and they're wanting for more. And actually, they're wanting for more time. Okay? Because Seven of Pentacles is like, you know, putting in the seeds, letting it grow, and then watching it grow. Okay? This is a moment of a wait though. You put an, uh, you put an effort with the Nine of Wands. 
Seven of Pentacles is there, you know, it's like, you know, you put an effort, they wait for you to basically put more effort and then it grows and it grows and makes them happy. Okay? Very, very good energy. Let me see here the central issue for Fire Sign. You have your Six of Cups. Marvelous. Marvelous. Soulmate connection. Both feels the same way. Okay? Because this isn't the central issue. Um, this person gives and receive abundance. Meaning, both of you get something out of this connection. This is reconnecting from past life. Or it can be a past lover that you have been with and now is here again. Um, this is this cup is not filled with water, so this is filled with different stuff that you would dream of. Hence, the star is there. So you are getting something that you have wished for in all sorts. Okay, you could be waking up inspired, waking up that you have the drive. Those are wish granted. When you can get up in the morning and not feel sucky because you have this person with you, it means your wish has been granted. You don't need to think that that person needs to be next to you to feel that your wish has been granted. It's an energy. Energies are granted to us to move forward, to heal, and to grow. Not in real thing, oh my god, the person is next to me, I, I am fulfilled. No. Look at the energy. Your energy has shifted from the day one that you've met this person. Something has good has happened in your life, career, money, health. Something has changed. Okay, and that is what is the Six of Cups is about here. So I'm going to continue this reading. Fire sign, Iris Leo Sagittarius. Thank you very much for patiently waiting. What else? Yeah, so enjoy your November. Bye.